Alright YouTube, this is going to be a video on all my fishing tackle that I own. So let's get into it. Right here, these are all my frogs. I got a, uh, my favorite frog is the Booyah Pad Crasher. This one is in, uh, I think Cricket Frog. These are my favorite frogs. Uh, the hookup ratio, they're really soft. That they walk side to side real easy. Um, the paint comes off a little bit, but you know they catch bass, and I really like these a lot. I got one in cricket, two in bullfrog. I found one in a tree. There's one in bullfrog color. Here's just one in white. Um, I got a couple. I got two coppers right now. In uh, fluorescent green, yellow, I think these are. This is a 55T. And this one is in a 65T. These, uh, I got three of the KVD Sexy Frogs. That one's in uh, Sexy Shad. It looks like a Sexy Shad color. Um, hookup ratios on these frogs are not too great. The plastic's a little stiff. But overall, it's a very well-designed frog. It walks the dog, and I trim the skirts on mine. That one's in sexy frog color. This one's like a rainforest black color. And this one's in just standard leopard color, which every other every frog on the market has. These two frogs I don't use a lot, but they're Matsuo popping frogs. It's like a croaker mouth on it. That's in like a leopard color. And this is just a plain white color. Um, I got a couple of, uh, I got the, uh, what are those? The Bass Pro Shops Kermy Frog Kit. Right there. I got a Scum Bigfoot Frog. Hookup ratio is really good on these. There's just a standard scum frog right there. The original frog. And this is my first frog I've ever had. It's a scum trophy popping frog. I've only caught one bass on it and it was four pounds in a lake by my house. It was like really grassy. But I haven't used it ever since. Um, I might, I don't know, I might never use it again, but... I mean, it just goes to show that you don't need a, co a fancy copper's live target frog to catch you four-pound bass. I mean, this one caught me. I mean, look at that. That's, you know, it doesn't look too great, but it, ca it caught me a four-pounder. Here's a, uh, a mini Matsuo frog. This has caught me a few bass. It's like, I guess you can compare this to the 45T copper's live target. Um, those are all my frogs. Now in this box, this is like my jig box, swim bait box. I don't use a lot. I don't use jigs a lot. I've never had luck on them. You know, I don't think I've given them too much of a chance, and I don't I haven't fished them when conditions called for them. But my favorite type of swim bait type jig is a uh, chatter bait, a Z-Man chatter bait. That's in white color. Um, I've caught a few bass on this color. This is just black and blue. And I added a, uh, a Berkeley Havoc, the deuce, on the back of it. And that tail goes crazy. This is a Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig with a, uh, a Berkeley Crazy Legs trigger, trigger, or trigger Crawl on the end of it. And that's in bluegill color. This is a Denny Brawler Flipping Jig, I think. I think it's it's by Strike King too, and I added a uh, Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss on the end and Green Pumpkin. It's a good jig. This is just a uh, tour grade football jig with a uh, missile baits the bomb on the end in like orange gold color. This is a uh, black and blue jig. I don't know who makes it with a. Uh, Gary Animoto flapping hog on the end, I think that's called. This is another flipping jig with the 
net bait pocket crawl in black and blue and uh there's a storm that's a storm slab crappie I have uh some storm what are they called kicking minnows in there um this is a castic swim bait castic bluegill like a hardhead swim bait So those are my jigs. My favorite box of all, of course, is the topwater box. Now, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to get to all of these baits, but I'll just show you, like, my favorite topwater baits. These are some uh, hidden Zaris boots. That's a hidden Zara spook, like bullfrog color. Another hidden Zara spook, baby bass. Big pike and muskie love these things. If you guys ever get a chance to go muskie fishing, they love these walk the dog baits. And they catch bass real well too. I don't know what. This is a, like another spook walking bait, but I don't know who makes it. Looks like a uh, Storm or, you know, one of them bait, bait companies. Another walking bait. This is a, uh, a Bill Dance spitting image. In like a shag color. This is a KBD sexy dog in a uh, you know, sexy shag color. These things walk side to side really well. I mean, all you got to do is jerk on a slack line and it starts to walk really well. Um, these are some more Zoom spook, Super Spooks. This is my favorite color. It's a foxy shad. You can see all the bite marks and teeth marks. I've caught so many fish on this one. I don't know if it's going to focus, but you can see the paint's chipped off on this pretty good. This one's caught me so many fish. I've caught a couple threes on this one, too. I've caught a lot of fish. I haven't seen this color, but it's another hidden spook. It's like a Zara puppy. And look at all the paint chipped off on that. I've caught so many fish on this one, too. I actually have a video on YouTube of me catching two bass on this like two, three years ago at a pond that I used to fish at, but I don't live there anymore. There's, there's, I got a, a couple different colors, a baby bass color, and then a, those are all zoom, those are all uh, hidden super spooks. Um, this is a Smithwick Devil's Horse. I caught several bass on this, all nice fish. Big pickerel blow up on this thing too. These work really good in rivers and I know they say that you have to jerk it and stop it, like that's the retriever you're supposed to use, but I found that the steady retrieve at where I live just works really well. So that's a Smithwick Devil's Horse. Um, these here, there's a uh, Rapala Pop Bar, I forget what that's called, a Rapala Skitter Pop. Some other Pop Bars, there's a hidden walking, hidden uh, baby Zara Spook. I have a lot of pop bars. They catch a lot of fish. Um, here's a rebel pop bar. These smallmouth love poppers up in New York where I fish a lot in the summer. Got more poppers in here. Every, a lot of people own this color right there. That's a baby bass popper. And this is like a, another rebel popper and like fire tiger. I got another skitter pop in there, another rebel pop bar. Um, I do have a lot of jitter bugs right there. A lot of jitter bugs. Uh, a couple hidden torpedoes. They catch me a lot of bass too. I lost a few colors. I had like a fire tire color. I lost that one. More jitter bugs by Abrocost. Um, there's a jitter bug in there. And I forget who makes this, but this is an old lure. It's like wooden. And it has two props on it. Here's some of my buzz baits. 
Those are all Booyah clacking buzz buzz beats. They're really good, really good buzz beats for the price. And then I have some hula poppers there. Baby bass, bullfrog, perch, and fire tiger. Some more. Those are hidden baby torpedoes. Tiny torpedoes. There's blue, black, bullfrog, and baby bass color in there. Top water beats. Crankbait box. Uh, these are all all in here are cotton quarter house sleeper spots. Uh, fire tiger, chrome blue, a lot of crawfish color. I got a, a gold minnow in there. Um, my fav one of my favorite crankbaits are these bomber fat free shads. That's in like a crawfish color. These things in New York, I mean, we've caught several six pound, five, six pound bass on these up in New York. Right here I got two Rapala DT6s in bluegill and in citrus shad color. Those are some Strike King Red Eye Shads and Gizzard Shad. Sexy Shad, uh, bluegill, and a crawfish color in there. Some more Bomber Fat Free Shads. Those are Bill Louie's Rattle Traps in there. There's another two more Bill Louie's Rattle Traps with another chrome blue super spot. I got a KVD square bill right there, 1.5, I got two of them, one in sexy shad and one in crayfish, and then I got a 2.5 in yellow, you know, uh, chartreuse blackback, and those I think right there are bombers, or normans, I forget what they're called, there's some more fat free guppies right there, I got a Yuzuri crystal minnow in the bottom there, there's a bomber, another bomber, and an Excalibur square bill. So those are my crankbaits. Now this is my uh, terminal tackle box. I got some sink or you know O-rings for wacky rig and sinkos. I got all kinds of drop shot hooks and VMC twist lock hooks in there. Um, those are all shaky heads in there. I got like four or five different kinds. These ones are my favorite. These green ones with like you can rig it Texas rig style. Those ones work really well. Uh, these are all, this is just tons of bullet weights in that box. All different sizes. 3 sixteenths to an ounce for punching. It's a couple drop, whole bunch of drop shot weights. There's all my Texas rigged rigging hooks. They're all every hook in here. I think are VMCs or they're all Eagle Claws. There's uh, barrel swivels and beads for uh, Carolina rigging. So that's my terminal tackle box. In this box, I have a whole bunch of bottle cap fishing lures that I've made. All different colors, and I have one video up on YouTube of me catching a bass on one of these lures. I was like 12 years old then. Now to get to my soft plastics. Alright, so here I got some Yum Dingers, 5 inch, come in a 12 pack. Don't get the Gary Anamonas. For 6 bucks, they give you 5 and they just fall apart real easy. They're, they're a rip off. Just get the Yum Dingers, you know, they're 4 bucks and they give you like 12 in a 5, five inch. And then they give you 15 in the 4 inch. So, good deal. Caught a lot of nice fish on, these, on this black and blue color right here. Those are Yum Dingers. Um, these are missile baits to bomb in like golden amber color. I got a couple of flipping baits mixed in there too. It's hard to see. My favorite topwater plastic frog is the Stanley Ribbits. That's a green color, like a bullfrog color. Favorite frog to use, soft frog to use. Catch a lot of quality fish on those. I got some zoom finesse worms and uh, June bug chartreuse tail. Another good. These these work really well on shaky heads. Um, these are just a whole bunch of torn up flukes that I've melted and 
burnt back together. I just use these wacky rigs and they'll still catch fish. Another pack of yum dingers. That's in a four inch color. A green pumpkin chartreuse tail. And there's 15 in there. Right here I got zoom lizards and that's in a chartreuse pepper color. Work really good on Carolina rigs. That's a six inch, six inch size. Here's a now, my, some of my favorite baits to buy are the Berkeley Havocs, you know. They give you so much for so little. I mean, they're like two ninety nine dollars at my dicks. These are uh, the Bobby Lean Design Crawl Fatties, and this is an Okeechobee call, Crawl Color. I mean, they're only like two ninety nine. These are the best baits for the price. So, those are those. I got some more Zoom Lizards, and this is in Watermelon Red. That's a six inch. Carolina rigs in there too. Some zoom trick worms and uh plum apple. It's like a almost it's like a purple color, purple red maroon color. And that's a six inch trick worm. And they come in a pack of twenty for four dollars. A pack of twenty. That's your that's how see that? Four seventy nine and they give you twenty. That's a good deal. And here I got, these are, it's like, um, this is the Berkeley Havoc Deuce, but I got a whole bunch of uh, Berkeley Havoc Devil Spears, Ike's, Mike I Canale is my favorite fisherman. Um, there's some uh, Devil Spears that he's designed there, a couple of Deuce. That's the Deuce right there, it's like a double tail grub. And this is the Devil Spear. Best flipping bait. I mean, it gets through the cover. It's so, since it's got a short, you know, no bulky legs on it, it can go through the cover when you're punching real easy. And that tail on the back there just goes crazy. That's a good flipping bait. Got another pack of Zoom 6 inch lizards. And this is like a purple color with black flake. And there's nine in there. These are like 379 and they give you nine. It's a really good. I really like this color. And I got here. I got some Skeet Reese Federal Curly Tail Worms. It's a 10 inch, and these are in a purple purple color. It's just called a uh, Black Grape. That's the color. Here I got Zoom Magnum Finesse Worms, and these are the giant version. This is like an 8 inch. And it's an eight packaging, and this is green pumpkin color. These work really good on shaky heads too, or if you Texas rig it, Carolina rig it, whatever you want to do. Now, I, my friend got a whole bunch of man's jelly worms, and he got a pack of he got a whole bunch of packs, but they gave you so many. They give you four, they give you twenty for four bucks, and that's a good deal. And these man's jelly worms are the best worms I've ever seen. They're the best worms on the market. Um, Here's, uh, these are the 8 inch cherry seed color, and I use these for Carolina rigging and uh, shaky heads, and Paul Elias broke a Bass Elite record with 132 pounds, and uh, the man's jelly worm in uh, Watermelon Red helped him win that record. He caught a whole bunch of 10 pounders on these things, but I got 10 in cherry seed. I mean, if you guys can get these, they're on Tackle Warehouse. You can get the hard nose version, which is like more durable. But for me, the best colors are watermelon red, cherry seed, and black grape. Those are the best colors. You know, they work really good. That's in cherry seed. These are Berkeley Havoc Pit Bosses, another good flipping bait. They work good for flipping pads and mats. Take one out for you. got those little crawls on the end there. It's in green pumpkin color. Right here I got another pack of Stanley Ribbit Frogs and that's in like a white chartreuse tail color. You know for frogging I usually stand with the frogs with the white belly and now they come you know all frogs have a white stomach. Well most of them so stick that. These are uh, Berkeley Power Bait Shaky Worms. It's like in a uh, Watermelon red glitter is what it's called. 
black and blue net bait pocket crawls. I use these for trailers on jigs and spinner baits and chatter baits. Right here I got, there's a Zoom Super Flute. This is in pearl white color. And I got some, uh, you know, I, for the flukes I always take, I always stay with the whites. So they're, they're my favorite color and they catch bass in any color water situation. Rig that on a drop shot. Texas rig it, Carolina rig it. Right here I got KVD Perfect Plastics. Um, this is the Game Hog and it's in watermelon red black. I'll take out one. I'll take out one. It's almost like a Zoom Brush Hog. There's one right there. It's like a Brush Hog type bait. These are good for flipping and man, that smell. They smell like coffee. Yep, it says, with coffee, scent, and salt. It really does smell like coffee. Right here, I got some Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Crawls, and some, uh, I got some Zoom Old Monster Worms in there, and then some Berkeley Power Bait Curly Tail Worms in there as well. Another power, Berkeley Power Bait uh, Shaky Worm, and that's in, like, pumpkin seed color. Take one out. I always use these on shaky heads. Like there's one rigged with a shaky head on it. It's in like a brown color. Scent on these are amazing. Right here I got Zoom. These are another another really good frog, the horny toad, and that's in watermelon red. Another good soft body frog. My favorite bait company of all time is Zoom. I will. I mean, Zoom is just, they give you so much for so little. I will never buy Gary Anamoto's for the price. That's just a ripoff. These are Zoom brush hogs. I have some green and purple ones in there. And one Cinco left. These are Konami baits Cinco. It's in like a white color. I caught a five pound bass in this in, on Lake Lenape in uh, June. Wacky rigged. Wacky rigged sinkers will catch you some of the biggest bass around anywhere. It's the easiest bait to use. Just let it sink to the bottom and just pull it right back up. Let it sink. My favorite way to rig these are wacky rig or on a, or on a Carolina rig. So that's all my baits. That's all my uh, tackle right there. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you with more fishing videos.